Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous uh, Return from Beagle Point. I almost said Journey Across the Galaxy. I'm so used to that one. Um, today's topic of discussion will be dealing with arrogant people, because uh, I had a situation today, and I kind of want to talk about it. Uh, but before we get into all of that, let me try to remind you to subscribe to the channel if you've been watching these videos and you're getting something out of them, and click that like button to help the YouTube algorithm uh, share the video with more people. Uh, for those of you who are new, we are currently returning from Beagle Point after a very long journey out this way. The primary purpose of it has been to increase our exobiology rank up to the elite status, as well as make enough money to hopefully buy a fleet carrier and head out into black with that. Um, and, uh, you know, all of my viewers are invited to attend once we get to that point, because there's plenty of room for everybody. Um, at the moment, we have two systems in, or two bodies in this system that have additional biological sources. I don't think we got all of the biology on this planet, but we did get about as much as I wanted to deal with. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead, hop off this planet, and I've already targeted the next one to get us over there and start scanning those, uh, those two planets. Um, so, we would typically have a little spiel that I give for those of you who are new, but uh, until we get to the point, until or if we get to the point uh, that we're moving into the next system, I'll hold off on that for now. So, as I said, today's... Mm, that... Okay, I did, um, I did go ahead and uh, select this as my target. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did, before I started the recording, go to the system map and set this as our target, but uh, I don't know. Something happened. Anyways, we are going to super cruise assist over there. Let's get ourselves lined up with that, and then we can full throttle to speed this up. So anyways, as I was saying, uh, today's topic is going to be dealing with arrogant people. Now, let me start up front by saying that... Um, how do I put this? I am a jerk. <laughs> um... I just, I don't have a lot of patience. I'm sure that some of you who watch this content and some of my other content know that I just, I, I don't have a lot of patience and I, I especially, especially don't have a lot of patience for other people's crap. So when someone comes up to me with an attitude, my instant response is very, uh, I don't, I don't like to put up with people's stuff. <laughs> so let me just put it that way. Uh, so. That's uh, a little bit of a problem given the fact that I am currently volunteer volunteering as a... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I was, uh, I was supposed to change my throttle, not turn off my cruise assist, super cruise assist. I am currently volunteering as a park host at a uh, county park here in San Diego. We're going to get slowed down by that star. Sorry, I have some kind of ADD or something like that. I get easily distracted. Uh, and obviously, one of the duties that I have is to interact with customers. And we're supposed to interact with them in a, you know, very business-like and professional way. Um, and I have no problem with that. I have many years of experience in not only, you know, customer service-related positions, but also just public relations in general. Um, I was a musician in the Marine Corps, and that requires a certain amount of being able to deal with the public. Now, and then, you know, I've, I've had several other jobs where it was just, we were just interfacing with the public a lot. So I have a lot of experience in dealing with that kind of stuff. But at the same time, um, you know, I have a limit to how much of pe somebody's attitude that I'm willing to put up with. And I had an interaction today with a customer that, you know, it wasn't a blowout. And it's like, it's not, it's not something you would record on YouTube and post it and it goes viral or anything, but it was, uh, it was, uh, it's one of these people who feels like they're going to give you a piece of their mind, whether you want it or not. So the policy here at the park is that you have to be out by noon or you're going to get a late fee. And we have, we've been having issues. Oh, stratum. Oh, this is going to be stratum tectonicus. Almost always when it's just stratum on the planet, we get stratum tectonicus. This might be another hundred million credit or 90 million credit, uh, increase to our budget here. Um, the policy is, you, is you're supposed to be out by noon, and if you can't be out by noon, you have to pay a late fee. So right around 11 o'clock, especially if we don't see any activity outside the unit, we start going and knocking on doors of, if it's an RV or walking up to tents if it's a tent and start, and, and start you know, giving them a, hey, uh, how you doing? You guys are checking out today. You know, it's, uh, you are aware that checkout is at noon and there's a late fee if you don't, uh, if you don't check out on time. And, you know, most people are understanding and... Uh, you know, they, they're like, yeah, we understand. We're, we're, we're working on it. And I'm fine with that. I, I don't, I'm not a jerk about it. I, I understand. They, 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 wanna, they paid for their time. They want to use up all their time, and that's completely fine with me. Um, 
but this person just really was super offended that we had the nerve to come knock on his door and remind him that uh, you know it's eleven it's eleven fifteen or eleven twenty or something like that. I haven't seen any movement outside the outside the RV or anything like that. So I go knock on his door and he's super offended that we had the nerve. <laughs> to come knock on his door and give him a courtesy reminder so that he didn't get charged a late fee. Like, I understand if he had a plan to be out by noon and he was fully aware, and that's fine, but we don't know that. There's no way for us to know that, and we have too many people that, you know, lose track of time or they, they forget the checkouts at noon or whatever it is that they do, and we need to make sure that they get out because we have other people waiting to get into those spots. So he comes up to me after, like I'm in the middle of trying to clean another site. He comes up to me and starts trying to lecture me about how uh, I've never experienced this before and uh, nobody, blah, blah, blah. It's just, you know, the kind of attitude that you get from somebody who's so entitled to thinking that they get to be treated a certain way that how dare you walk, how, how dare you do this to me? How dare you? And it's like, dude, I knocked on your door and gave you a courtesy reminder. What is your problem? <laughs> like. And there's, there's, there's so many people in the world who just who think that the world revolves around them and their lives and what they're doing. And how dare you interrupt me? <laughs> like, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I've been driving around your trailer all morning. and or, I'm sorry, I've been driving around your RV all morning. I haven't seen a single movement at all. And we're getting towards, you know, checkout time where you're supposed to be out of here. And what are you, do, you know, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to... Yeah, the policy of the park is is that we're supposed to start giving them courtesy reminders as we get close to noon, so that they so we can make sure that they're aware before we charge them a late fee. Because sometimes they space out and forget, and we don't want to have the little. Oh, I didn't know there was a late fee. No, you do know that there was a late. You do know that there's a late fee because we came and specifically told you, well before your checkout time, that hey, there's a late fee. <laughs> but he felt the need to stop me in the middle of my work to come tell me to, to, to come try. He, he try, comes try to try. Uh, sorry. He comes to try to give me attitude. And then he doesn't like it when I give him attitude right back. Because my response to him was. Um, let me see. I, I, I wasn't I wasn't like mean, but I also was making it very clear that uh, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But this is the policy of the park. And that's the end. And he, he went so far as to get my name and all of that stuff. And, and he's, I'm expecting to, to have there be a complaint. Fortunately, the people at the park here are pretty cool and chill. And I don't expect anything to come of it. But it's just I don't understand how people can be like that. It's like I can understand if I can understand if I had walked up to his door and said, get out. What are you doing? But no, I was, I, I said, I, I believe I said something to the effect of, hey, good morning. I uh, just uh, verifying you're checking out today. And uh, he said, yeah. And then I said something like, uh, okay, well, just wanted to, just wanted to remind, uh, give you a courtesy reminder that uh, checkouts at noon and there's a late fee if you are, if you're still here by then. And he was like, okay. And then I drove away. And then later on he comes to me and he's like, like, I'm like how, how arrogant do you have to be? to walk up to somebody who's trying to get work done so that you can make sure that they know that you don't like the way that that went. I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't, I don't get people. I don't get people. I like, I'm, I'm the kind of person who, uh, tends to avoid confrontation in the first place. And I just, I don't understand. I don't understand the mentality of somebody who thinks that the way they feel about a situation is so important that you have to make sure that the the person who who made you feel that way knows about it. It's like, can you not just like drive away and get get over it? Like, even if I had been uh, as as much of a jerk as he seems to think that I was, what does he get by coming and complaining to me about it? Does he think that I care? <laughs> does he think that I care that he has a problem with the way that I treated him? No. I don't care. Mostly because I know I didn't treat him with disrespect or anything like that until he started coming up with me with an attitude. And, you know, my response to that is, is, you know, yeah, did I have an attitude? Absolutely. But it was no worse than the attitude that he came up to me with. So I don't feel, I don't feel bad in the slightest about it. So I just, I, obviously I have to go through the situation so you guys can understand the context of why I'm talking about this. But it's it's just one of those things where you start getting into your you, you get to a point in your life where you start to realize that people just kind of suck in general <laughs> as much as you don't want to think about oh, oh, as much as you don't want 
Sorry, I'm trying to focus on not crashing. Um, as much as we all want to believe that, you know, we as people are basically good, the reality is, is that people are only good when they have a reason to be. For the most part, if you, if you can be selfish and you can, you know, behave however it is that you want to behave, most people are going to do that if they have the opportunity. Now, are there some people out there that are going to, you know, always treat people kindly? Sure. Um, you know, some, some people... Now, there, it's, everything's a, st a statistic, right? Like they're, they're, everything's a curve. You have some people on some. You have some people on the extreme end of things, uh, whether it's you know they're they're just jerks all the time, and then you have other people who are just naturally predisposed towards being nice because that's just the kind of person that they ended up being. But most people are in the middle. Most people are going to, if they can get away with being selfish or if they can get away with whatever it is, um, most people are going to do that. <laughs> it's just human beings are selfish by nature and the only reason why we end up not being selfish is because it benefits us in some way maybe down the road but we recognize that working together tends to provide us with a much better benefit over time um, but if we don't see any kind of consequence in the future for our negative behavior well almost all of us are going to do whatever it is that we think we whatever it is we think we can get away with um maybe you don't and that's mostly be oh my son just messaged me he's having a solar eclipse <laughs> all right so that's it for the bacteria on this planet let's go ahead and hop up into space and get over to the other planet so we can get the uh what i'm hoping is going to be another stratum tectonicus that'll be super awesome Okay, let's get up into space. So, you know, I know that uh, I know that lately I've had a bunch of episodes where I'm talking about all this negative stuff, but I'm kind of just trying to talk to you guys about the things that are happening, you know? And unfortunately, I just I've had the, I've had several negative things that have happened, and I don't want to complain about it. Like I hope this I hope so far this hasn't come off as me complaining. It's more it's more like I'm trying I, as I said in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, I try to be philosophical about things, and I try to have, you know, conversations about philosophical things, and one of those things is just, you know, dealing with human nature. And unfortunately, you're going to come across peop a lot of people in your life that um, don't understand that you're a person too, and that you deserve to be treated the same way that they want to be treated, and you know, unfortunately, that's just the way the world is. Are we... Yeah, 0.15 light seconds, so it's the other moon, and unfortunately, somehow we ended up on the other side of the body from here, so we're gonna have to slingshot ourselves around. I'm actually gonna try to slowly increase our altitude by staying on this end of it, so that we can continue to increase our speed as we go around. Because somehow we ended up on the other side of the body. I don't know if this just has a very high rotation, or if I just landed on the spot that ended up being kind of over to the side, or if I just took off in the wrong direction. Let me know in the comments. What did I do that made me on the other side of this body? Because I remember when we were landing, or maybe the moon, maybe the moon was on the other side when we landed. I don't remember. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys will. I'm sure you guys will let me know. Um, so, anyways, like I said, the the point of episodes, the point of me talking about this stuff is not necessarily so that I can say what was mean, like, uh, you guys don't want to hear that stuff. It's mostly just I, I want to make sure that you guys understand the context of why I'm talking about it so that it kind of makes sense where I'm coming from. Um, me, personally, I, I, I don't feel too bad about the way the situation turned out. It's not going to really affect me in any way, in any, any serious way. Um, and, you know, he gets to drive away feeling all huffy and puffy like he like he got me somehow. I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't do anything but just waste uh, waste five minutes of both of our time because you thought you were going to, you know, force me to bow down to your this or that. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Even if they ask me to leave the park because, uh, because I won't be that way, I'm not going to lay down for somebody. And, you know, I understand that that's a, that's a pride thing. But at some point, you got to take some pride in who you are and not let people push you around. And I'm not the kind of person who lets people push me around. And it's just, you know. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Yep, stratum again. Oh, but this one's a little bit more rare. 
Or at least it's a little bit it's a little bit less prevalent on the planet, so I don't know. It might be a different kind. I know I have a I have a I have a really bad issue with my pride, and that's something I'm fully aware of and I fully recognize. But if you're the kind of person who has an issue with you with your pride, you know how difficult it is to get over that. Um, that's one of those things where um, you can know that it's a problem, but it has such a hold over you that you have such you have a really hard time controlling that aspect of yourself and. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad that uh, when I was uh, when I was still serving as a marine, I had we had an interaction with our uh, with our officer in charge, and he started speaking to us in a way that was highly inappropriate. And the marines around me knew c could see that I was getting ready to jump over. Oh, I remember what it was. He threw a folder at me. That's what it was. He got so mad that he threw a folder, and it, he was. I don't think he was throwing it at me, but it ended up hitting me. And I leaned forward as if I was going to jump over the desk and throttle him, and <laughs> everyone in the room was like, oh shit. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to curse. Every, everyone in the room was like, oh crap. Um, it's like, I, I have an issue with pride, and I have an issue with, you know, I, I have an anger management issue. I know you guys don't see it here on here because I'm in a presenter mode, but you know, things happen and I get angry and we, we lose control, and some of us get more angry than others. So, you know, my response to him was actually extremely measured compared to, you know, how I would respond if I didn't, if I was completely unrestricted in my behavior. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that way. Um, but, uh, you know, how did I get, I got off on a tangent about pride. I know this is all about arrogant people. I, you know, I'll fully admit to you, I can be, I can be pretty arrogant a lot. I can be, I can be very arrogant. Um... Sorry, I'm trying to focus on not crashing into the ground. Oh yeah, that looks like Tectonicus. All right, so let's get stopped over here, and we'll see if we can find a landing spot. Uh, um, I can be. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to focus on the landing spot. I'll, I'll get to the arrogance in a second. Uh, there we go. Oh, come on. Nope, that was it. <laughs> it's like one little spot. Come on. There we go. All right. Um, I fully recognize that there are situations where I can be very arrogant, especially with the way that I talk to people. If you know, especially if I'm in a situation where I know what I'm talking about, and the person that I'm dealing with is um, has an attitude towards me about it because they want to do it their own way. I can be pretty arrogant when it comes to things, but at the same time, there's a difference between, you know, having an arrogance when, number one, you're in a situation where you know what you're talking about, and you're supposed to be there, and, you know, you're, you, you might be running the show, versus walking up to a complete stranger that you don't know in their situation and trying to throw your weight around because I'm much oh that was the thing I'm much older than you and like he 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 thought that he was owed he thought he thought he was owed me just sitting there and taking his criticism because he was much older than me and I'm like uh no 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 that's not how this works your age does not automatically give you respect just because you've been you've been around for more years than i have i don't walk around to 20 year olds expecting them to uh just sit and listen to my listen to what i have to say no like they, they deserve respect from me just as much as i deserve respect from them and it goes the same for you there there gentlemen uh you don't get to walk up to me with an attitude because you don't like the way that the the you don't like the way that uh uh you don't like what happened that's not how this works. Your your age does not provide you with immunity because you think that your age provide like your age makes you somehow better than me. It's like no, there's plenty of people. Like I've learned, you'll you'll learn if you're younger. You'll learn as you get older that uh, people my age and older, like in their 40s and 40 plus, uh, a lot of them are no more mature than you are. Like they haven't learned any more than you have. They haven't advanced really in maturity as any any further than you have. And it's like, you know, they still act like teenagers, but now they're older and they think they're owed respect. And it's like, no, I'm sorry, that's not how that works. <laughs> that's not how that works. You treat people with respect, you'll get respect. If he had walked up to me and explained that he felt explained his concerns in a way that was, you know, 
meant to convey information rather than to just, you know, my issue with him was is that he wanted to lecture me. It wasn't just that he wanted to bring up an issue that he thought his attitude and demeanor were very clear that he thought he was better than me and that he was going to he was going to tell me. Oh man, I'm going to tell him. You know what I mean? So that was my that was my interaction and it's just the arrogance of somebody who thinks that they're going to walk up to a complete stranger, another adult. <laughs> they're going to walk up to another adult, a grown man who is who has a gray who has a gray, who has an all gray uh, goatee. You're going to walk up to somebody like that and think that you're going to intimidate me with your age? Like, no, dude. I've been around long enough that your age means nothing to me. Oh, man. Uh, it's just, I don't know. People, people today just, I don't get them. I don't get people. Like, I'm not, I wasn't, I wasn't even mad at the guy. Like, I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not butthurt. I'm not, like, I know I'm, I'm talking about it, but it's mostly, like, I, I'm mostly amused that somebody thought that they were so, that, that, that somebody believed that they were so important that they were going to come up and give me a talking to. It's like, no, you're not. You're not doing that. I mean, worst comes to worst, my supervisor, my supervisor uh, tells me that they can't keep me at the park anymore. Like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'll, I'll leave the park then. If that's what it takes, I'll leave the park then. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna let people, I'm not gonna let people treat me that way. Was there a bacteria here? I wasn't paying attention, but uh, let's just double check and make sure. Cause I thought I saw some bacteria nearby. And I don't remember. Yep, yep, right there. So let's go grab that one. That way we don't have to take off and land again. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I understand that a lot of times these videos that I do come off as me being, like, negative or whatever like that. And, you know, I get it. Um, I, sometimes I have some negative things to talk about. Oh, we're waiting for this. Sometimes I have some negative things to talk about, but I do try to make sure I'm, you know, conveying the stories in a way that makes it clear that even if I was upset at the time, I'm not upset now. I'm, I, I get over things pretty quickly. Uh, but you know, it gives me a starting off point and it gives me, it gives me a subject to talk about because until I get to the point that I have uh, really cool topics to talk about all the time, I kind of just have to convey stories as they happen to me. And that's what happened today. <laughs> so that's, that's, uh, that's what happened today. I don't know. And part of it is just, you know, I'm trying to keep you guys engaged as we do these videos and, uh, I just let my mind kind of ramble until we get to the end, which is what I'm doing now, because I pretty much said everything I need to say about the subject, other than just, I, don't, I just don't understand people, and I don't understand people like that. Like, how do you get to a place in your life where you think that you're so important that your displeasure must be, must be, must be redressed? Like, no. Sorry. I'm sorry that you didn't like the way that that situation ended up happening, but the park policy is the park policy, and, you know, I'm going to follow the park policy. And the park policy is, is to remind, give you a courtesy reminder when it's, time, when, when it's getting close for you to leave. And if you're not obviously on your way out, then I'm going to knock on your door and say, hey, just giving you a reminder. Don't forget the checkout's at noon, and there's a late fee if you don't make it. Because a lot of people, a lot of people underestimate the, uh, a lot of people underestimate how much time it takes to get out of here some, uh, uh, sometimes, and, you know, getting a courtesy reminder is, can be kind of important. My, my, the, the funniest part of it is, is like, he, he, ha, he, he asks me, what time is it? What time is it? I'm a, I'm a grown, I'm a, I'm an adult, I know how to manage my time, blah, blah, blah. It's like, how do you get so offended <laughs> by something like that? I just don't understand it. That's some uh, that's some serious insecurity. If you know somebody coming up and knocking on your door and just giving you a courtesy reminder is making you feel offended, like I can understand if I was like trying to get him out, trying to get him to leave earlier. If I walked up and called him a jackass because you're not leaving, like what? no, I. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. But anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and call that episode here because we are out of time. Hopefully you guys have been having lots of fun on this journey. Be sure to click that like button if you did. Or if you just uh, don't like arrogant people the same way I don't. Um, or at least the kind of arrogant people that feel like they need to be heard. Um, 
subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already so that when the next video comes out it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available channel members do get early access to all of my content so be sure to click that join button check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you if you're not interested in a membership you can always contribute in the for with the uh, <laughs> sorry you could always contribute with that thanks button it is youtube's form of, tri of a tip Direct contributions such as those are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the journey and the topic, and I'll see you for the next one.